All right, dudes, what's up? Back in the game room here with another quick how-to video. Hopefully it's quick, although I don't think it will be. Uh, I have a pair of Fast and Furious Tokyo Drifts here, and as you can see, I have one working monitor and one that doesn't. So this is a 27-inch Wells Gardner D9400 CRT monitor, same thing that goes in a golden tee. So hopefully this little uh, replacement should work with a golden tee live as well. Uh, I bought a 25 inch PC monitor, boom, right here by Acer, except this is a 1610 ratio, which means it is taller. So I'm gonna set this up in front of the machine so you can see how good it's gonna fill it in. This, this hole on the bezel here is about 21 and a half by 16 inches tall, 16 and a half tall, right around there. And this monitor is actually 21 and a half by 15 inches tall. So it should fill in this gap super nice without actually losing much of your picture space me i might sacrifice about an inch on the top but for me that is doable i'm going to do both of these monitors i did try a cap kit on this monitor it did not work there's something going on in the power supply on the chassis board but without any further ado let me get into this take this bezel off and try and document this as best i can so here's our little test fit look at that Look at how good that fills in that monitor space. I mean, it's sitting in front, but it looks like it's wider than it is. It really is the exact width of that gap. So cool. Let's see how this goes. All right. So first things first, got uh, about six torque bolts that come out of the main steering wheel area. And I can show you it's on a hinge here. Literally just that's what it looks like. There's a bolt here in the corner. There's uh, a couple behind the steering wheel back in there. One hole there, one hole there, another one in this corner. And then underneath, a couple there. Once you take them all out, you literally just fold this whole thing down. It makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna see what I can do to get to the rest of this bezel. Right here on the sides, we have a couple of hex heads. One right there and one right there. We're gonna back those out. And that's what you need to do on the sides to get this whole bezel area loose so i'm going to pull this out do the same thing on the other side and hopefully we're going to have a detached bezel boom there we have it so took out the other two bolts on the side here one up top one down there and now we have the entire bezel and marquee taken off easy access at the back of this monitor i will show it if i can has uh i think it's just got two plugs one for the vga and one for the power and that is it. There is also like a little monitor control pad, pod, whatever you want to call it, attached to the chassis board. So you literally just take these four bolts, nuts off, I should say, and pop this sucker out. So stay tuned. Word. So we got the back of the machine off here, the back door on the machine. This is the rear chassis board on the monitor. So all we're going to do is disconnect this VGA cable and then this is your power cable, and that is literally it. You can see up in there, the back of the monitor, all that good stuff you can see with the bezel off through the light through the front of the machine. It's that simple. <clears throat> this one last cable here is the one that goes to the uh, monitor, you know, vertical and horizontal controls and color and all that. So I'll pull that out of the coin box. Well, this will all come out together and uh, Loosen these four nuts and we should get this sucker out of here. Okay, so I have the four nuts off and as you can see, this thing is just kind of hanging there like a loose tooth now. All I gotta do is just pull it forward off of these mounts <clears throat> and uh, set it on the ground. I have my VGA disconnected and I also have the power disconnected and that is it. Super simple. But I can't show me taking it off because I'm by myself and I really don't feel like setting up the tripod, so back in a flash. And there she is. Monitor pulled. The best part about this is I'm gonna take this little bracket out and I just have a shelf here. Pretty sure I can just mount the base of this monitor on that shelf and I can adjust this screen at the height that I want it to go. Lock it all into place. I do have a piece of plexi here that I'm debating on using. I got to take the, the protectant off of it, but it is nice and clear. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to set it in for a test fit. 
fire this biatch up and see how she looks. Task number one, what's up? This looks actually pretty dope. So we have the side-by-side -side comparison here. I don't have this machine pushed all the way back, but look at the how much clearer the uh, LED version is. I mean, obviously we knew that was gonna be that way, but you know, I'm, it, you, I'm sacrificing about an inch on the top and an inch and a half on the bottom. But for the difference in picture, I mean, the 16-10 ratio really does fill it in well. I do have a piece of like black foam board that I'm gonna use to make this like a finished product. I just have to figure out how exactly I wanna mount all this stuff in there. So stay tuned. But we got some slick looking pictures right there. Awesome. All right, crew, so just a little tidbit here. So after testing the monitor, everything is gonna work just fine. So I've decided I know how I wanna mount it in there. It sits in there like a shelf, like I showed you. I took the base of this particular monitor off, took out these three screws, this cap comes off, and I actually rotated the base and put it back on. Reason being is because now you'll see that the base sits back behind the monitor and I can now secure this base into the cabinet by putting a piece of wood over this right here and bolting it all down. I'll show you the finished product. And that'll hold everything super tight in place. And I'm gonna put some plexiglass right here over it with a little black bezel on the top so that it hides that gap. And uh, it should push nice and tight into the bezel opening on the back of the, uh, the front of the game, which basically is the bezel. So, all right, back in a bit. All right, cool. So I got the soft test in here. I got my plexi on. It's really hard to see because I don't have the screen on, but you can see the monitor behind the screen. Above that, it's black in there. Uh, back behind, you can see the wire hanging. I just got to do about a two and a half inch piece of black foam board, which I have right here. Just gonna cut a strip off the top, make it about 23 inches wide, mount it in there at the top and call it a day. So, uh, and then secure it. But anyway, moving right along. Probably really hard to see it, but I finally have the monitor pretty much where I want it. Got the little black border at the top. It's uh, looking pretty nice. Let's go inside and look at it from the back. Try and get some light on here. Uh, where is the flash? Okay. So I have this, you can see it kind of doesn't look that great from the back, but that doesn't matter because no one's going to see that. That's how I have attached the plexi and that bezel piece on the top. I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of one by one that I have in the garage, mount it over this, zip it down into the shelf and just securely hold this, um, hold this stand in place and then I might throw a couple other pieces of one by one across the top up there to make sure that it just doesn't go anywhere. So let's see how that goes. So I have a piece of two by two here that I found in the garage and kind of pre-drilled some holes in the top. I think I got a couple uh, two and a half inch self-tapping. I'm gonna lay this right over here and I'm gonna butt it up to the neck right there. And then uh, I'm just gonna tap those screws right down into that shelf and that'll securely hold the base where I need it to go. So let's see how she goes. Almost done here. Last step, I figured I'd show this one. So we got our VGA hooked up in there. We have our uh, power cable coming from the other side and I have cut the end of the power cable and spliced it right here. I'm a twist and tape guy, don't hate. Sometimes I use wire nuts, sometimes I don't. But this is the cable that was formerly connected to the old monitor. This connector connects to that connector right there, which sends the current to turn on the monitors from the power supply when you turn on the game. So basically it just automatically will turn on the monitor when we turn on the machine now. We have our VGA, and just to show you a little bit of this reinforcement back here, I now have everything in place. Stand is securely bolted in, I should say screwed in nice and tight to the cabinet. I also have a screw here and a screw here going into the back of the monitor to keep it from being able to rotate. Uh, this monitor actually has the rotation ability. So, and then I have this guy right here. 
torqued on here super tight this stuff's not going anywhere this monitor is uh in there for good unless i need to change it again so i'll show you the final product here in two seconds okay here we have it final end product so we have our plexi everything sorry about the glare on the screen you're probably seeing some reflection but i can assure you the display looks super bright super nice um i got about two inches maybe two and a quarter inches of a black bezel up at the top but that is all i had to sacrifice on this screen uh, everything is all buttoned up in the back ready to shove up against the wall i'm gonna go ahead and do the other monitor as soon as i have a minute there you have it this is a 16 10 ratio asus monitor so you get a little bit more height most of the time when people do this they have another black bezel on the bottom so you lose a couple inches on the top and on the bottom but if you go with a 16 10 ratio instead of the 16 9 you get a taller screen and this is a 25 inch 16 10 ratio so there you have it nice gonna do some playing tonight and uh i'm gonna go ahead and sign off you guys thanks for watching if you got any questions or comments drop them below please as always like share and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell i got plenty more goodies coming your way all right guys peace